In this video, I'm going to show you how to connect your GoDaddy domain name to your Shopify store step by step. Now, before we begin, make sure to be both logged in on GoDaddy on Shopify on the same browser. So first what you want to do is go to Shopify and to the dashboard. And from here, we want to first go to our domain settings, which we can find all the way at the bottom by clicking on settings right here. Now from here, we want to go to domains, which is right here. So I click on that. And now as we can see, this is our current domain, myshopify.com. And in order to connect our GoDaddy domain, we click connect existing domain. From here, we can go to GoDaddy to copy our domain name. For me, it's studiohassle.com. So I copy this and then I'll type in www. And then I'll paste in my domain name. So it looks like this and we click next. Then as we can see, it says DNS records are not pointed to Shopify. So let's fix that. We want to click manual setup right here. And now we can see these records that we need to add to GoDaddy. So first it says remove these existing records. So let's go to GoDaddy. And then from here at the sidebar on the left, we want to click on domain. And here we can see the domain that we have for me, studiohassle.com. And now we want to click manage DNS right here. Now we'll be able to see all the DNS records right here on our site. And the first thing that we want to do is deleting the current A record, which is this one, which Shopify asked. So you simply click delete and click confirm. Now we go back to Shopify and the next step is to add a C name record. So first thing that we want to do, we want to copy this text shops.myshopify.com, go back to GoDaddy. And then right here, we find our domain name in the C name record. We click edit and right here, we change the value to what we have from Shopify and click save. Then we go back to Shopify once again, and we want to add this A record. So once again, we copy this value and we go back to GoDaddy. And now we want to add this record. So we want to make sure this is an A record. And then for the name, we want to select add. Now we want to paste in our value. And then for the TTL, we simply select one hour and now we click save. Now it's going to update these DNS settings. And as we can see what we can read, most DNS updates take effect within an hour, but could take up to 48 hours to update globally. So now we basically made a connection between our domain name and Shopify. And now what we can do, we can click I updated DNS records. And now it's going to see if it already found the connection. And there we go. We now got a good sign. DNS records are pointing to Shopify. Domain is live in all regions globally. And once again, if this is not the case for you, just wait a couple of hours as it can take some time. Now the next thing we want to do is change the domain type. And for that, we click change domain type and we want to make sure that it's the primary domain name of our site. And then we click change domain type once again. And now as we can see, www.studiohassle.com is the primary domain for our online store. So now as you can see, it's still busy provisioning the TLS certificate and some other things as well, but this is pretty much the entire technical setup. And now when I search for the site, as we can see, we're at the opening soon page, but it means that our domain name is successfully linked to our Shopify store. If this video helped you out, please leave a like, please subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one. Have a good day.